Hi everyone, it's Gus, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Raspberry Pi NAS. Now, NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Raspbian OS and SSH to communicate with the Pi. If you need to install Raspbian, then check out my tutorial on it here. If you want to learn how to use SSH, you can check out my guide right here. Firstly, let's update the Pi by entering sudo apt get update. Now enter sudo apt get upgrade. This step may take up to 30 minutes depending on how large the updates are and how fast your connection is. Now we want to enable NTFS support for the hard drives. So let's install the required package by entering sudo apt get install NTFS 3G. Now we want to find out what the address is for our external drive. To do this, simply enter sudo fdisk-l. This will show you a list of drives. We can ignore our SD card that is shown as mmcblk in this example. The one we want is called slash dev slash sda1. Now this might vary depending on how many drives you have connected. Before we mount the drive we need to make a directory for it to mount to. To do this enter the following command sudo mkdir slash media slash nas hdd1. We also need to create a user that we will give permission to read and write to this directory. Enter the following command sudo user add i my life up dash m dash capital G user. Now you can replace Pi My Life up with your own username. Now we need to set a password for that user by entering the following sudo passwd Pi My Life up. Now we need to get the group ID aka GID and the user ID aka UID. To do this enter the following commands id dash u Pi My Life up id dash g my life up. Now we want to edit the fstav file so that our drive is mounted on boot up with the correct permissions. To do this enter the following command sudo nano slash etc slash fstav. In here enter the following line slash dev slash sda1 space slash media slash nas hdd1 space auto space uid equals 1001 comma gid equals 1004 comma noah time space zero space zero. Now replace any of the values that I just mentioned with the values we got earlier. Once you are done, exit and save by pressing Control X and then Y then enter. Now simply reboot the Pi and the changes should come into effect. Now we need to install Samba. To do this, enter the following command. sudo apt get install samba samba-common-bin. Now that's done, let's back up the config file, just in case we need to revert back to it later. You can do this by entering the following command. sudo cp slash etc slash samba slash smb.conf space slash etc slash samba slash smb.conf.old Now let's edit the config file by entering sudo nano slash etc slash samba slash smb.conf First thing we need to do is remove the hash from in front of security equals user in the authentication section. Now we want to add our drive. Now I won't read this out for you, so you can either pause and copy it off the screen or head over to pymylifeup.com for the correct entry. I will just quickly mention the part in square brackets is what the folder will be called when viewed from another machine. Once you are done, exit and save by pressing Ctrl X and then Y then enter. Now we need to restart the Samba service by entering sudo slash etc slash init.d slash samba space restart. Finally we need to connect our user up to Samba. To do this simply enter sudo smb pass wd space dash a pi my life up. Again, replace Pi My Life up with the username you chose. Enter a password twice, and now we're all good to test. For a Windows PC, simply go to the File Explorer and click on Network. 
Now double click on the NAS folder and enter the credentials we made earlier. For example, mine was Pi My Life Up and the password was Pi My Life Up. Now create a test file to make sure the permissions are correct. You can also test this out on Mac by simply going to Go and then to Connect to Server, enter the Pi's IP address and the name of the share, which was NAS. Enter the credentials, and there we have it, a fully working Raspberry Pi NAS. Looking for something new to do? Check out these awesome 21 Raspberry Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.